Hi guys, welcome back to Programming Knowledge. This is Tanit Singhania, and today I will be talking about neural networks, specifically about multilayer perceptron. A typical multilayer network consists of an input, hidden, and an output layer, each fully connected to the next with activation function feeding forward. So, a uh, forward pass uh, calculates the output corresponding to the inputs. For each uh, training uh, data uh, we give in the input layer it calculates a score for each uh, neuron neuron then uh, the score is given to the activation function uh, after that uh, from which we get the output value for each neuron so this uh, output for uh, every neuron acts uh, in the hidden layer acts as the input to the next layer so again uh, a score will be calculated uh, calculated and then that score will be passed to the activation function for example relu function or a sigmoid function and so on uh, and we will get an output accordingly so from that output in a training phase we have the actual and the predicted from which we can get the uh, loss at the error at the uh, output layer F that error is propagated back to each neuron by adjusting the weights so that we can reduce the uh, reduce the loss as much as possible and that happens in our backward pass so backward pass is propagates the error backwards through the network starting at the output units so uh, we have uh, two parts here first is uh, forward propagation uh, formula and the backward backdrop formulas so in forward propagation we first calculate a score the weight matrix into a input matrix plus bias uh, as we have seen in the perceptron and then we uh, have the activated value that is uh, we pass through the pass the score through a function uh, or for example relu function or a sigmoid function from that value is our output value for that neuron in a uh, backward propagation for example uh, sigmoid function we have uh, these formulas uh, in case of uh, in the uh, backward propagation so uh, the we update the weights uh, from ith node to the jth node node by n n is the uh, learning rate into delta j into output of ith ith node so delta j is calculated by these two formulas if it is an output unit it is calculated uh, with this formula where tj is your uh, target value and uh, if it is a hidden unit then uh, we can calculate by this formula okay uh, so the algorithm is uh, we will begin an epoch and for each training example d okay uh, we have to propagate the network uh, input through the uh, network and calculate the network's output for d's input values so we will get the output for the uh, training example d then uh, from in the is it uh, this is in training uh, phase so we will get the error from the predicted and the actual value and we will propagate the error backward through the network so for each network output unit it will use this formula and for every hidden unit it will use this formula and then uh, from the delta j we can get a uh, uh, delta w i j uh, with the learning rate so that is added to our old weight so uh, we will get new weights from ith node to jth node uh, and then we will repeat it until and unless we uh, get our optimized neural network okay so uh, let us look at an example Assuming that the neurons uh, have a sigmoid activation function, perform a forward pass and a backward pass on the network, assume the actual output is of y is 1 and the learning rate is 0 0.9. Okay, uh, so we have given the uh, n value, okay, and we have given the input 1, 0, and 1, 3 parameters, and the actual output is 1. Okay, so we have initialized with these weights, these are these are random values. No, uh, okay and these are the biases theta 4 and theta 5 theta 6 okay so first we will calculate for h4 for h4 we will uh, multiply the x1 by w14 
x2 by w24 and x3 by w34 and uh, sum them up and uh, add the bias to it okay after uh, calculating we get the value minus 0 0.7 you can calculate it on your own okay then we pass this value to the sigmoid function as we have given the sigmoid as the activation function for e every node so we get the value as uh, 0 0.332 okay for h5 we again uh, do the same procedure we multiply x1 by w15 x2 by w25 x3 by w35 and uh, sum them up and add uh, theta 5 to it so we get 0 0.1 as the value and when we pass it to the sigmoid function we get 0 0.525 okay so we have got 0 0.525 here and 0 0.332 here okay so when we pass these uh, two values which you previously calculated uh, with the associated weights we can get the output for uh, sixth uh, output node that is uh, minus 0 0.105 and then we can pass this value uh, to our uh, sigmoid function and we will get a 0 0.474 as the value now since this is an output value we can calculate the error we uh, uh, got so since the actual output is 1 and we got 0 0.474 the uh, error would be 1 minus 0 0.474 that is 0 0.526 okay now this from this error error we can calculate our delta 6 for 6th uh, node that is then output unit okay for the hidden units we can use this uh, the formula uh, previously shown okay so we get the delta uh, 6, 5 and 4. These three are the nodes which we need the delta 4. After that, we can calculate uh, our delta W. Say for example, 4 to 6, we will calculate by uh, learning rate into delta 6 into uh, Y4. So we have given the uh, 0 0.9 as the learning rate and delta 6 we have calculated over here. Uh, 0.1311 and uh, y4 we have 0.332 okay so we can get the delta value then uh, from we will add this delta value to the previous uh, old value and we will get our updated delta uh, updated w from fourth node to the sixth node okay similarly we can do for one to four and every other node in the network okay uh, then after uh, we can update the thetas uh, theta to the biases uh, for which we have the output as one only so we consider it as one so we will ignore that term so the formula would be uh, the learning rate into the delta six if it is for the sixth uh, node okay so we will update the biases and our weights so th something th it would look like something like this uh, say for one four okay a 0 0.192 it was previously 0 0.2 okay as you can see so the weights have been updated you can calculate it on your own after that uh, let us perform a forward pass again and see what happens so uh, like uh, i have shown you previously we will calculate it and we get these output okay so we will get at the sixth node we will get the uh, uh, value as 0 0.061 after passing it to the sigmoid function, we will get the value as 0 0.515. So previously we got the value as uh, 0 0.474. So it is improved. It is uh, improved and the error is 0 0.485. Uh, previously it was 5 to 6. So error is reduced. So this is only one epoch and only a single training data set. So uh, the values are not uh improving as uh, expected if you have more training examples more epochs it will reduce and uh, our neural network would be optimized in the next video i would uh, explain you uh, basically show you how to implement this uh, on a uh, we will code the complete neural network using our pytorch library okay thank you